Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel and to another Romway haul. But this time, it's for a music festival that I'm not going to. <laughs> I've never gone to a music festival. I would love to go at some point in my life, but for now, I'll just pretend from the comfort of my own home. Much cheaper that way. <laughs> but if you are going to a music festival, I put together some outfits and some pieces that would make you stunning. The bell of the ball, if you did go to a music festival. This video is sponsored by Romway. Thank you very much. And they have given us a coupon code, which is Vessel of Blood, to get 15% off. As always, I will leave everything that I show in this video linked down below in the description box. So without further ado, let's dive into my music festival lookbook and try on haul. First up, we have the grunge punk four pack ring linked chain detail got a lingerie set for $14 and I got size medium. Now don't let the fact that it says lingerie set deter you from wearing this in public. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> when I think festival wear, I always think something like this, especially in the summertime because it's hot out there, but you also want to look cute. So wear black because that makes sense. <laughs> but I love this set. I was very pleasantly surprised by how good it looked on me and uh, my boyfriend agrees. <laughs> so this is in fact four pieces, but it may not be the four pieces you think because we have two separate fishnet arm thingies then we technical term then we have the top which has an attached choker and a chain as well and then the bottoms which are a chain belt which is very cute and then the fishnet garters are attached to the underwear which is very nice you have to worry about losing them or someone pulling them off you the fishnet is nice and soft and stretchy. It has thumb holes for your arms. I love that. And the fun part about this top is that all of the chains have a lobster claw clip so you can take them on and off if you want less chains. But the meat of this outfit is the black faux leather, which is stretchy, which is nice. It is on the thinner side, but it feels sturdy. And all of the harness detail at the top is black elastic. And we have a typical bra clasp in the back of the top. So very stretchy, easy to wear. It's gonna look good. And for the bottoms, they have some nice stretch to them, which is awesome and then we just have the fishnets coming right off the side of the hips and then the bottoms unfortunately are not adjustable but they are very stretchy when it comes to the black garter part i'm so happy that this is detachable because i'm gonna wear this with so many other outfits and it's such a cute little chain belt i love the design i love that these also have claw clips so you can take the chains completely off if you want and this isn't adjustable but it is very stretchy next up we have the spider web print cami dress without arm sleeves for seven dollars and 49 cents and i got size medium. I love spiderweb print in anything, as you may have already guessed if you've watched me for any length of time, but this dress is perfect. I love the way it looks. It's a perfect length on me, not too short, not too long. Nice and stretchy as well. These have adjustable straps. We love adjustable straps. <laughs> and the fabric was a lot thicker than I was expecting, which is great because that means it's not see-through. But this is the perfect dress to make a base for any outfit. You can add harnesses, chains, anything on top of this, and you'll look super cute, but also spooky. Very important. Speaking of accessories, next up is the Grunge Punk Grommet Lace-Up Front Eyelet Detail Corset Belt for $11 and it comes in one size. I've actually been eyeing this belt for quite a while. I want to say at least a few months. It's been saved in my wish list, and now I finally have it. And I really like it. I think it's very cute. I love the design. It has three solid black panels and then it is stitched together with a crisscross element on either side. And it also has black elastic, which is very stretchy. And this has snaps in the back. And we have some lovely lovely ruffles on the top and bottom of the elastic parts. Now I love me a good black on black moment and this is exactly that because we have the black faux leather, we have buckles, but we also have black floral lace, which is kind of an unexpected detail in here, but it actually looks beautiful. And especially when it comes to a festival, normally from what I understand, they're outside in the sunlight and you'll be able to see all this beautiful lace. Whereas if you're indoors in a dark room, you may not be able to see it as well. So highly recommend wearing this outside. <laughs> and these buckles in the front are purely for decoration. They do not work, but they look very pretty, which is exactly what I aspire to be like in my everyday life. <laughs> And then to add more detail, we have this faux leather cord with some metallic dongles on the end. I don't know what the technical term is for these, but they're really cute. And I think they add a lot with the draping effect on either side of the main part of the corset. Next up, we have the grunge punk one piece solid one shoulder tape decor super cropped up for $12 and I got size small. 
And I'm very glad I got size small because this fits me perfectly. It is slightly oversized, but I think that's part of the design. This is also very unique. I haven't seen many things like this and I think it's really fun. This will definitely spice up an outfit and also protect one shoulder from sun exposure. The other one is on its own, <laughs> but that's what sunscreen is for. I will say I do wish the strap here wasn't sewn onto the shoulder. I wish it were adjustable because it just kind of hovers on the outside of my shoulder instead of lying flat with the rest of the fabric. The other strap that goes around your chest and boobage is adjustable, which is lovely. I think the rivets and the D-rings are a great touch. Love that. And the fabric on this is nice and soft. And this has a little stretch to it. And one thing I was surprised by is that the collar is also fabric and it just snaps around your neck and you can also take it completely off. Next up we have the goth lace up side cami top for $9. I got the color white and size small. I should have sized that because while this does fit me, I'm in it, uh, it's a little small, a little tight. So I should have gone for a size medium, but this is a really cute top. One thing I wasn't expecting though is that this is completely see-through, so you gotta wear something underneath. In the pictures it looked more opaque, but this is just all mesh and lace. This has no zippers, no adjustable straps, no openings, so you actually just pull it on over your head to wear it. And uh, definitely should have sized up. <laughs> And this does have some stretch, but not enough. And I also really love these straps. It's just white fabric and they're really pretty, but unfortunately they are not adjustable. Next up, we have these spider web print leggings for $8.49 and I got size large. I should have gotten size medium, but I was a little worried they'd be too tight, so. Now I know. These are very comfy and the waist fits me perfectly. They are stretchy, elastic. This is a completely different fabric than the spiderweb dress that we saw earlier in the same print, which surprised me. This is a little thinner, more shiny, kind of like bathing suit material. And because of the size I got them in, they're less like leggings and more like pants. <laughs> just because they're a little baggy in some places. But the good thing is I can always take them in. It's harder to let things out. So better to size up if you're unsure about the sizing. Next up is the goth open knit sweater without cami top for $16 and I got size medium. I wanted this sweater for, if you can call it a sweater, I've wanted this for so long, ever since I first saw them put it out on the website and now I finally have my little grubby paws on it. Yay for me. Size medium is the perfect fit for me. I also could have sized up, but I think medium works. I love this thing, it's fantastic, and I need it in dress form now. So wrong way, make this a dress please. <laughs> I'm very curious how this was made because I honestly have no idea. It just looks like things are looped and tied together, but it feels sturdy, it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart, which is nice. We have a bit of a flared sleeve at the end of the arms, which is lovely. And while this does have a teeny tiny bit of stretch to it, there's not much. And obviously this is a spider web, which I love. And it's the same design on the front and the back. And I think it's awesome. Another great layering piece, but it won't make you too hot in the summertime. Next up we have the goth floral lace plunging teddy bodysuit with one pair over sleeves for $11 and I got size small. This is lingerie that would actually need to be worn at home by itself, but if you have something on top of it you can get away with it for a festival. Just need a pair of shorts, a bra and a skirt, maybe some pasties and you're good. And the reason I say that is because the bottom of this is very very low. So low I can't even show you without getting uh, scandalized and demonetized. This reminds me a lot of the Burnout Velvet fabric. This has a similar texture, but it's all mesh. And then we have the velvet cutouts on the top, which are in the shape of flowers. Very pretty. So let's start with the arm thing, shall we? These have fun little trim at the tops of them, and they're mostly made out of this beautiful mesh and velvet fabric. And then we have these mesh sleeves that open up at the bottom. These are very stretchy, which is fantastic, but I do wish this mesh was a little better. It's a little on the stiff side, and while it's not scratchy, it's not super soft either. And then we have the star of the show, which is the bodysuit itself. Now what surprised me with this one is that the bottom is constructed like a pair of underwear where you have to step into it. There's no zips, there's no way to open it. And it does have some lining in the bottom as well. And then you have two ties, one which goes around the back of your neck like a halter tie, and then one across the middle of your abdomen. I think my favorite detail for the bodysuit are the fun little lace wings coming out on either side of the hips. I think that's really cute. Next up we have the jacquard tie front high low hem cami dress for $13. I got color pink and size medium. I originally ordered size small from the sizing chart, but I'm very glad they sent me a medium instead because the medium 
costume just fits me. So I would definitely recommend sizing up for this dress. It is a gorgeous baby dusty pink, which I love, one of my favorite colors. And I think this is more of an easy festival outfit. You just throw on a dress and you got a whole outfit and you're comfortable, you don't have to worry about it. And the fabric is nice and lightweight, so it's perfect for summer. This is a beautiful shiny satin and it has prints of flowers and leaves and stems on it. This zips up the back and it also has adjustable straps. Only bad thing about this dress is it has no stretch whatsoever. Next up we have the goth skeleton hand design hair claw for five dollars. I got the one size. I love this clip so much. When you're at a music festival the last thing you want to happen is to have your hair blowing in your face so you can see what's actually happening on stage. So this guy. <laughs> if you guys watched my last runway haul I had a lot of trouble opening the spider clip that I got that was similar in design to this one. Thankfully this one is a lot easier to open. This is made out of metal, very nice and bright and shiny. It has two little skulls at the top of the fingers, which they are holding, and they're skeleton hands, and it's a claw clip. It's awesome. I love it. And the other fun thing about this, it is heavy enough to be used as a weapon, so if someone's bothering you, just be like, watch out! <laughs> Clip them in the face! Next up we have the goth cross charm pant chain for five dollars and I got two of these babies because I have plans for them. <laughs> now these have a lobster claw clip on either side and it's a really cute little chain and it has three crosses on it which is perfect. Now you can put this on a skirt, on a pair of pants, or wear it as a necklace. The options are really limitless with this and it's such a fun accessory. You can really put it just about anywhere. You could put it on your head as like a fun hair accessory and with two of them I can have it on either side of me or just layer it. So I love these. They're nice and lightweight and I'm very excited to put them on everything. <laughs> and last but not least we have the plus solid plush lined tights for $15 and I got the color black. Now I'm looking at the size chart for this item and it says default wrong way default sizing UK or US. I got this in US sizing but this my friends is not plus size in the slightest but in the event you are going to a cold music festival or one inside that is very very air conditioned I'd highly recommend these. These have been my secret weapon for the past couple of winters ever since I found out about them where it looks like you're only wearing a thin pair of tights but you're very warm because the inside is fleece lined. But I can wear just about anything I want in the winter with these shorts, skirts, and I'll still be very warm and toasty. One thing I wish that was different is that I wish the, you know, lining part went all the way down to the feet. It stops around the ankles. And while it still has the black part and you can't see through to your feet, it is not lined. So your feet will be a little colder than the rest of you. But if I had to hazard a guess, I would say these are like a small to medium in regular sizing. And that is it for my music festival lookbook. What did you think? Would you wear any of these or all of them at the same time? Now that's a look. <laughs> Can you imagine the layers? You'd be sweating. But I do hope sometime soon to be able to get my butt out to a music festival. There are so many good ones. But alas, I am poor, so <laughs> if someone wants to give me money, that would be great. Then I can go to all the festivals. <laughs> Comment down below which music festivals you've been to and which ones you would recommend. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Time to be the sexy lunch lady. <laughs> this is what's underneath my wig. I'm Uncle Faster. <laughs> I've really appreciated your sweet comments on my hair in the last couple of videos, but it is a wig. <laughs> Excuse me. Cop print check the gate, moving on. Eh, don't move the camera. <laughs> Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Uh... Next up we have these spider wind, spider wind. <laughs> I tried to say web and print at the same time. It's kind of like a panty. I hate sneezing. <laughs>